Hello, community. Sometimes you ask, how expensive is it to fine tune a T5 model, a bigger model in the cloud? Or can I do it on my GPU? Now, okay. So let's have a look at the two biggest flan T5 model, the XXL, where the weights in single precision in floating point 32 are already 44 gigabytes big. So this is almost impossible to fit on a single GPU when you add the activations and optimization. So no way. Therefore, we have something like Deep Speed Zero or Zero Redundancy Optimizer. This is a method to reduce the memory footprint. Now, compared to the basic data parallelism, zero partitions, optimizer states, gradients, and model parameters to save significant memory across multiple devices. And this is exactly what we want. So we look today at the cost that we have and we fine tune. Please not note we are not running here inference. We are not starting this huge job of pre-training. We are here in the middle with fine tuning an existing pre-trained Flan T5 XL or XXL model to your personal or company related data. So you have a specific task in mind, like say for example, a question and answer task or a summarization task or a translation task or whatever you have, and you wanna fine tune the pre-trained Flan system, a T5 system with 3 billion parameters and 11 billion parameters on your data. Now in specific, we have to choose a data set to know what we are paying for. We use here the CNN Daily Mail data set that I showed you in my last video. We have close to 300K samples, sequence length 512, and we go for three epochs, which is a rather conservative, a minimal approach. So how much does it cost? Now, very easy. If you go now for the Flan T5 XL model, so the 3 billion model, and you go with here the single precision floating point 32, and you have eight V100 NVIDIA GPUs with 16 gigabytes. You go about 100 hour and you are about $2,600 if you train it on AWS, the EC2, the Elastic Cloud Compute. If you have, for example, now, with a deep speed zero offload, you can go with four V100 for 70 hours and just eight, just 800, about $830. Or you again go with the full fledged eight times V100. You have now a significant reduction in runtime. So from 70 hours to 30, about 32 hours. But of course you have to pay more or so it's less hours because you have double the GPU, so you are about $770 to $800. So this is if you go for a single precision fine tuning task on a Flan T5 with a specified data set. Now, this varies a lot of with the size of your model, with the size of your training data set and the quality of your code. The optimization you can run if you're able to optimize a deep speed if you have really all the configuration file in place for your computer infrastructure. These are data, not from me, but here, I'd like to show you here in the lower right corner, you see here my source. This is Philip Schmidt. He is a technical lead from Hugging Face, working at the interface Hugging Face to AWS. So I think he is the person, if he published these figures, that I would say this is a very good estimation for us to understand what's going on. Now, if you're not familiar with the next step, just remember we have here single precision or floating point 32. So we have here, of course, one bit for our sign, then we have eight bit exponent, and then we have 23 bit for mantissa or significant. However, if we reduce now the numerical precision of a mathematical operation and we reduce it to floating point 16 
and we only have half the number of bits available to store a floating point, we go here to a 5 bit and 10 bit. So there was a time when Google, Google Brain to be exact, invented the best of both worlds. So they came up with a B float 16 um, floating point format that is used in a PC, in a Mac, in Unix, in wherever you go. So this is where we do our neural network calculation on. This is the benefit that it has the full range of uh, floating point 32. But of course, since we only have here 16 bit, you see that here, the distribution of the exponent and the significant are now shifted. You can read it has advantages, yes, yes, yes. This is here a calculator from IEEE 754. This is the official standardized way for floating points. So let's say you have now a value, let's say minus 3.45567, whatever. So how is this value now saved in our IEEE 754? Now, at first, of course, there is the sign. We have one bit for plus or minus sign. And then we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits for the exponents. We have base two. So eight bits here for the full uh, floating point 32 precision, the single precision mode. And as you can see here at the Mantissa, if we enter 3.567, this is the value that is actually stored in float. And you see, of course, it is a little bit different. And there is an error due to the conversion of a, what we call here a non-integer. So beautiful. There you can calculate for, I don't know, you can go for some crazy numbers and you can have a look about here the error due to conversion and you see now the error now starts increase a little bit but this is how we store it you understand why suddenly we have here a new um, google brain floating point format for our mathematical operation of floats beautiful so let's apply this Let's say we have now the same task. We fine tune a Flan T5XL on our same training data set for the fine tuning. And we go now with precision um, B float 16, brain float 16, however you like to call it. If we go now here on a relative advanced little cluster with an A100 uh, data center GPU from NVIDIA with 40 gigabytes each. So you see, it takes us about three hours and this costs you about $80. Please be careful. This is uh, a price where I'm not sure if this is just the cost for AWS is the uh, uh, Elastic Cloud Compute part only. And I guess you have to add the cost for storage and you have to add the cost for all other operations. So this is just a guideline to tell you if you go with a different mathematical precision of your mathematical operation of matrix multiplication, the cost change significantly. Okay, this was the Flan T5 XL fine tuning. Now, what about the 11 billion parameter model, the XXL from Flan T5? Now, 11 billion parameter, if you compare this to, let's say, a GPT-3 with 175 or a Bloom with 176 billion parameter, you see we're here really at the mini uh, LLMs working with 11, just 11 billion parameters. If you think about Palm with 540 billion parameter, you get an idea how much it will cost and what infrastructure you need. So even if you reduce your precision now automatically, to B float 16, and you have the same infrastructure, a V100 from NVIDIA, you have no chance that this model runs on this little V100. So what we need here is again, and you see under the line, it indicates that I have here my offloading from DeepSpeed. 
that we go if we have an A10G with 24 gigabytes, four of them takes about 90 hours and it is about $730, which cost EC2. And if we go for a full-fledged A100 with 40 gigabytes each, eight pieces of them, you can do the job in just 20 hours and it will cost you about $600. I suppose it's pure EC2 cost, but please go and check out here in the right corner. You have my source. Go there, have a look for yourself and read the technical documentation. This is just to give you an idea where you are with just, I would think this is just a compute cost. Again, he specified that he his 8 NVIDIA A100 with 40 gigabyte was the AWS EC2 instance. It was a P4DN, 24X large. So this is, if you really decide that you want to fine tune an 11 billion parameter FLAN T5, this is with a reduced precision what you should, in an optimal case, when you are the technical lead at Hugging Face, you have an optimal code, you have an optimal configuration of your network, you have everything done to an to a optimization, this is the cost that you can achieve. Again, I could not personally verify this cost. I could not spend tens of thousands of dollars for this experiment. And again, as I told you, it's unknown if this costs are only the compute cost EC2, or is there some additional storage cost or any cost that come on top of. So please be prepared for this. Anyway, handle those cost estimation with care, but this is a solid source. And I would say this is the best cost estimation I could find on this particular topic. So go and enjoy fine-tuning your FLAN T5 model.